At Wednesday's Senate Judiciary Committee hearing, Senator Ted Cruz grilled Kelly Hodge, nominee to be United States District Judge for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania, on her beliefs regarding policing, citing an article she had written after the murder of George Floyd and her work in the Philadelphia DA's office, Cruz accused her of, quote, radical beliefs. Cruz has a history opposing President Biden's judicial nominees, claiming they hold views on criminal justice out of step with the American mainstream public. Democrats have countered that Cruz's antipathy is political grandstanding and that their bent towards restorative justice is much needed after decades of harsh and unequal treatment within the carceral system. I have been concerned for some time that this administration in making judicial nominations is not seeking out people who will fairly and impartially follow the law, but rather is systematically nominating people who are partisans, people whose views are sharply out of the mainstream, and people who are extreme. As I look at your record, I see considerable indicia uh, that you follow that same pattern. Is it true that you previously stated, quote, the root cause of the killing of black people in America is systematic racism? Thank you for the question, Senator. Um, I, to a, a colleague who just uh, asked a similar question moments ago, um, that statement was made in an article that I wrote following the killing of George Floyd. Um, and. I provided a what I would say is a revision to that, which is it's one of the root causes. Um, so, in, but the statement as written is what I did write. Well, you also described uh, possible solutions to what you described as quote the pandemic of racism, and you specified two in particular: eliminating qualified immunity and quote reallocating police funding. Now, everyone in this committee hearing room knows that reallocating police funding uh, is a commonly used phrase that is also described as defunding the police or even abolishing the police. Uh, do you still think, to use your phrase, reallocating police funding is a good idea? Senator, thank you for the question. Um, I believe that when I noted those particular, those two specific things um, in the article, that I was taking from what the dialogue was, particularly in this body, in terms of potentially revisions or considerations for how to address um, crime and instance of violence. And with that, um, I believe that all of those considerations are things that are left to the policy level, um, that that is not something that if I were so fortunate to be confirmed as a U.S. District Court judge, that I would speak to or have any role in whatsoever, that that is something that is a policy consideration that is left to a body such as the legislative body. So, Ms. Hodge, I will say, I'll, I'll make a prediction for you, which is that the Democrats on this committee will give lots of speeches about how they don't support defunding the police. But in your nomination, I'm going to predict every single Democrat is going to vote to confirm you, and my, the basis for my prediction is every single Democrat has voted to confirm every single judicial nominee that's come from President Biden, no matter how radical. They keep voting for nominees who've advocated, as you have, abolishing or defunding the police, or as you phrased it, reallocating police funding, which is taking the money away from the police. Now, your successor, you were the interim district attorney in Philadelphia. Your successor, Larry Krasner, has, has become uh, quite infamous. He is one of the many George Soros prosecutors funded with massive amounts of money from Soros. And under his tenure, he has systematically refused to prosecute violent crime. He has released violent criminals. And we've seen in Philadelphia crime rates skyrocketing, murder rates skyrocketing, carjacking skyrocketing. 